class 4. So last time we were doing factors and multiples and I have taught you factors, what are factors and what are multiples, common factors, HCF, highest common factor and multiples, common multiples and lowest common multiples that means LCM. You did all that, isn't it? Now there are some topics which I have not taught you. Okay? So let's do that and if there is time we'll have a recap of that common multiples and common factors also. Okay? So let's start. First one is prime number. Prime number. Why I am doing prime number? Why I am teaching prime number now is why I didn't teach prime number first then factors. Why? Because first I have to teach you factors because here prime number's definition is a number which has two factors. And if you didn't understand factors then how will you understand prime number? Isn't it? So prime number is what? A number, a number which has two factors, okay, which has only two factors, only, you can write only two factors. Example, okay, five. Factors, uh, before I give example, let's re, uh, do a recap of factors. What I have told you in class, factors means, yes, it's a divisor, but just not a divisor. I have told you the difference between divisor and factor also, isn't it? Factor means there should not be any remainder. Okay, when it divides, there should not be any remainder. Okay. And divisor means just any divisor. Even if there is remainder or not, it is called divisor. Okay, it is called divisor. But factor means there should not be any remainder. Any remainder. Okay, then that factor is called prime. A, sorry, that is called, that divisor is called factor. That type of factor, if a number has two, two, two factors, then that number is called prime numbers. Only two factors. Like I am giving you an example. Five. Five. Five can be divided by only one and five. One and five. One five is a five. Five ones are five. So these two factors. This five has these two factors. So this five is what? Prime number. This five is prime number. Okay, uh, there are other factors, uh, sorry, prime numbers also. Just tell me, yes, mm, seven, yes, seven. Seven has how many factors? Two factors, isn't it? One and seven itself. So, a number, like one seven is a seven, seven one is a seven. So, a number which has only two factors, one and the number itself, that type of number is called Prime number. Okay. So, if there is 6. 6 has how many factors? That means, it can be divided by which which numbers? Yes. Try. 6 can be divided by 1 also. 1, 6 is 6. 6, 1 is 6. Yes. Apart from that, it has 2 and 3 also. Isn't it? 2, 3 to 6, 3 to 6. That means 6 is not a prime number. So then if it is not a prime number, what is it called? So these type of numbers are called composite numbers. Okay? These type of numbers are called composite numbers. Composite numbers means a number which has a number which has which has more than more than two factors okay so we can take example of the 
this one only, this one only. Okay. This six, we can write it down as example. So six can be divided by one and six. That all the numbers in the universe can be divided by one and the number itself. But apart from that, apart from that, there are other numbers also. Like six, for instance, six can be divided by, let's take six as an example. So six can be divided by two and three. Two, three is a six or three, two is a six. Okay, so six has more than two factors. These type of numbers are called composite numbers. Okay, first, if a number has only two factors, that is called prime number. And if a number has more than two factors, that number is called composite number. Okay, is it clear? Now, what about one? One is neither composite nor prime number. Remember that. One is neither prime number nor composite number. Okay, so two, what about two? Two. Two is, yes, two is prime number because two can be divided by one and two only. Okay, three, three is also like that, isn't it? Three can be divided by one and three only. Four, four can be divided by one also. Let's try it, okay? Let's try out here. One and four and it can be divided by two also. That means it is more than, it has more than two factors. So, four became composite number. Okay. So, these are very simple terms. Prime number, but very important one. Remember that. Prime numbers are very, very important. Why, why it is important? I will show you afterwards. Okay. Why it is important. So, prime number, clear. Factor means divisor. When it divides, there should not be any Remainder that is called factor and that type of factors if a number has two, two factors that is called prime number and if a number has more than two factors that is called composite numbers. Okay, so it's clear. Now next is prime factorization. These are prime number and composite number. Now next method is prime factorization. Next topic is number 3. This is the method of division. Prime factorization. Prime factor. Prime factorization. Uh, there are two methods in it. Prime factorization by factor 3 method. Another one is prime factorization by division method. Okay, so first we are going to do with prime factorization by by division method. Division method. Okay, now this prime factorization method by division, when prime factorization by division method is very useful when you find LCM by division method. That time it, is, it, is, it will be very useful. Okay? I'll show you that one. Like if you have to find prime factorization, it is in page number. Uh, if you have a book, I, I hope you are ready with copy, pencil and book. I hope. So page number it is in 114. 114, page number 114. Okay, prime factorization. I'm going to use prime factorization by division method. Now it is in page number 116, 116, page number. Okay, so I'm going to use that. Suppose you have to prime factorize 36. Okay, simple number. We'll start with simple number 12. Okay. Uh, number A, 12. Now, prime factorize 12. What you have to do? 
you have to use prime numbers. Now it is useful, isn't it? Now if you don't know factors, how will you know? How will you know? Prime numbers. Now if you don't know prime numbers, how will you find out? How will you do prime factorization? You saw it's all connected, isn't it? So you have to learn, practice, whatever we are, I am teaching, please learn and practice at home, okay? If there is a gap, if you miss any uh, portion, like prime numbers course you missed, then you won't know how to do prime factorization. Afterward, afterwards, how to find LCM HCF by using this method. So, there should not be gap. Remember that. Okay. So, how to find out? You have to use prime number only. What are the prime numbers? 2, 3, 5, isn't it? Now, lowest one. You have to divide. What? You have to divide in ascending order. Okay. Ascending means smallest to biggest. Start from the smallest prime number. Tell me. Smallest prime number. Yes, it is 2. So start with 2 and find out whether that number can be divided by 2 or not. 2. 2, 6, 12. Okay. Then again 6 can be divided by 2. 2, 3 is a 6. Hmm? 2, 3 is a 6. Then 3 cannot be divided by 2. There will be remainder, isn't it? So, next prime number is 3 itself. So, 3. 3 ones are 3. Okay? So, now prime factors will be this one. Prime factors of 12 will be 2 into 2 into 3. These are the prime factors. 2 into 2 into 3. So, these numbers are prime factors of 12 and the method is called prime factorization. Okay, so this is, uh, now let's try another one. Mm, let's try 36, okay. 36, number B. Let's try 36. Now 36, right? You can see that the last digit is what? Last digit is even number, so it can be divided by 2, okay. Uh, uh, 2. Divide. This is called short division method. You don't have to divide that. You don't have to use that long method. We used to divide 36 by like this. No? 36 like this. 2, 1, zero, 2. Like this we used to do. Isn't it? But you don't have to write all these. You can write. Uh, you can use short division like 2, 1, zero, 2. Like this. 2, 1, zero, 2, then 3 minus 2 is 1, but you don't have to subtract, you count it. Okay? 2 ones are 2. Now 2 become 3. What how many steps you need? 2 ones are 2, then 3. This one you have to write here. And 1 and 6 became 16. Okay? 1 and 6 became 16. Then you can divide 16 by 2. 2 eights are 16. Remember, this is called short division method. You can use long division like that in rough column also. But it will be better if you learn short division method. It won't take too much time. Okay. So 2, 1, 2, 1, and 2. Then 3. This one, you write here. 1 and 6 became 16. Then 2 is a 16. Okay. Now 18 again, find out. 18 can be divided by 2 or not. Okay, then divide by 2. 2 nines are 18. Now 9 cannot be divided by 2. 2 fours are 8. 1 will be left out. We don't need that. We need factors. Isn't it? These are prime factors. So next number, next prime number is 3. So 3 threes are 9. Okay, then this 3 is a prime number. So it can be divided by same number. 3 ones are 3. So 36. Prime factors of 36 are all these numbers. 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. Okay, so these are the prime factors of 36.
36. If you multiply it, you will get the same answer because you are making it simple. Okay? 36 big number, you are making it simple. You are converting it to simple factors. Okay? Prime factors. So, 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. If you multiply 2 is a 4, 3 is a 12, 3 is a 36, you will get that same question as answer. Same number you will get. Okay? Same number you will get. So you have this process is called prime factorization. Okay? This method is called prime factorization by division method, which we will use in finding LCM afterwards. Okay? It's very useful in finding LCM and HCM. This is called division method. Now, another method is factor tree method. Another method, I'll do it here. Prime number and composite now you. Now, prime number and composite number, you know already. Now, next, you understood already. Now, next is prime factorization by factor tree method. Factor tree method. Okay. Number four is Prime factorization by factor tree method. Factor tree method. Okay. Prime factorization by factor tree method. Let's take twelve only. Okay. Same number. But you have to find like this. Next factor. You multiply. Excuse me. Next number uh, will be 2, 6, 12. Isn't it? 2, 6, 12. You got one prime factor already. Now 6. Okay. 6 again you have to find out. It is incomplete. So 2, 3, 6. 2, 3, 6. So how many prime factors? 12 has 2, 2, 3. 2 into 2 into 3. Same. Isn't it? This is called division method and this one is factor tree method. Answers are same. Just to find prime factors. Okay? Just to find prime, prime factors. But this method will help you in HCF and LCM. Okay? So, say 36, 2 18s are 36, isn't it? We did it there only. Then 2 already became prime factor. Now 18, 2 9s are 18. Now this 2 also became prime factor. Now 9 looks complicated, isn't it? Now 9 also make it simple. 3 3s are 9. So, these are all prime numbers and factors also, prime factors. So you have 2, 2, 3, 3. All prime factors of 36. 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. Like that. You can see out there. Okay. Only the method is different. Okay. So this is prime factorization. Prime factorization. Now, next is even and odd number. Next is even and odd number. Multiplication tables answer or answer of all the multiplications. 
answers are called product but those product are also called multiples okay those products are also called multiples so a number which is a multiple of 2 is even number like example this even number even number multiple it should be multiple of 2 means 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 2 threes are 6 2 fours are 8 like this ok 2 fours are 8 2 fives are 10 let's do till here 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 2 threes are 6 2 fours are 8 2 fives are 10 means this 2 if you would divide by this 2 answer will be 1 2 ones are 2 that means these number can be divided by 2 all these numbers can be divided by 2 you can put it that way also ok actually in your book what is the definition of even number the definition of even number is multiple all the multiples of 2 are called uh, are even numbers isn't it are even numbers now let's put it in another way all these answer can be divided by 2 ok should be divided by 2 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 2 3s are 6 2 4s are 8 2 5s are 10 if I wrote 11 can it be divided by 2 perfectly what is perfect last time I have told perfectly means the division which does not have which does not consist of remainder ok here there is no remainder it is perfect division here it won't be perfect division if you divide by 2 ok because there will be remainder left if you, let's see here divide by 2 2 fives are 10 2 fives are 10 remainder 1 is left that means it is not perfectly divided by 2 so 11 is not a multiple of 2. So those numbers which are not multiple of 2, though that, that type of numbers are called odd numbers. Okay, odd numbers. So these are even numbers. Now just opposite of these are called odd numbers. Like 11 I showed. Okay, let's start from the beginning only. 1, 1 is odd. 2 and then that side to become even number. Now after that 3. Then after 3 comes 4 but it became even number. Then 5. Like this it will go on. 5 then 6, 7, 9, 11. Okay. These are the numbers which cannot be divided by 2. Which are not the multiple of 2. Which are not the multiple of 2. Okay. These are the multiples of 2. So these are even number or this can be divided by 2. But here these numbers are not the multiple of 2 and cannot be divided by 2 also. There will be remainder. It can be divided but not perfectly divided. There will be remainder. Okay. So these are called even and odd numbers. Now I need to elaborate or, or only. What about bigger number? If there, I write it here. These are odd or even number. So I will tell you one secret thing that is you just have to look at the last digit. The last digit is even, the whole number will be even. Okay? Last digit is 4. 4 is what? It is even number. That means whole number will be even number. You don't have to divide also. You don't have to see. You don't have to find out by dividing. Uh, sorry, dividing by 2. Divide 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 8s are 16. You don't have to do all those. It's time consuming, isn't it? You just see the last digit. It's even number and its whole thing will be even. Now, if it, if there is, okay, I'll write this number of okay? 257093. Is it even number? No. Because the last digit is 
odd number. Okay, this is odd number. So whole number will be odd number. Okay, so remember odd and even multiple of two. Okay, that that means it can be divided by two. The numbers which can be divided by two or the, if these are multiples of two, then those type of numbers are even number and the numbers which cannot be divided by two and are not the multiples of two, those numbers are called odd numbers. And how to find out if the number is big? You cannot continue continuously divide. There is no time at all. So you can see the last digit to find out even or odd number. Okay? So today we are let's do this much only. You practice at home all the common, uh, sorry, last time factors I gave, then common factors which are common same, then you circle the, those numbers, those became common factor and in common factors you have to find out which one is highest, biggest, that became HCF and in multiples also, common multiples you found, first multiples of those numbers, then you select it, you circle the numbers, isn't it? Then that became common multiple, then the lowest one was LCF. You did all those, isn't it? Now, new things are, new terms are prime number, composite number, then uh, we use that prime number in prime factorization. Prime factorization, two types, prime factorization by division and prime factorization by factor tree method. Okay, then last was even and odd numbers. So, even number is this one, odd number, that, and if it is bigger number, how to find out? You have to see the last digit. If it is odd, it will be whole number, will be odd, it will be odd, okay, and if it is the last digit is even, the whole number will be even number. So, uh, I'll, tomorrow we have offline class, isn't it? That time I'll give you homeworks, okay? Uh, about all these terms, I'll give you homeworks. Okay, thank you.